Hey gang, today we are at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and spring has definitely sprung here. They just dropped their 2024 creative Easter egg designs as well as the Grand Cottage where we can get all of our spring snacks. And so won't you spring with me inside this resort to check this new stuff out? Come along. Come along. It's based off our name. It's so different walking into the Grand Floridian. I just immediately know I'm gonna have a really good day. I was able to make a dining reservation over at the Grand Floridian Cafe, so we're gonna eat there before we go get our sweets and snacks at the cottage. But we gotta go check out these Easter eggs before our dining reservation. This is one of the coolest things Grand Flo has to offer. And yes, I know a lot of you guys don't like when I say Grand Flo, but I can't help it. That's what I call it, Grand Flo, G Flo. And here is the Grand Cottage. I cannot wait to see what delicious treats they have on their menu. They actually established this little snack stop in 2022. So it's only about two years that they've been doing this. But this, I do think they've been doing longer than two years because I remember this from way back in the day. Check out these Easter eggs. And first up here, we have sword and the stone themed. I mean, there's literally a sword in the egg. This is all hand painted and hand done by the artist here. And each artist kind of tells you why they chose this. So this was Juan and he loved watching the Sword and Stone as a kid. Um, all of the egg artists work here at the Grand Floridian in their bakery and their restaurants. And, and these also have designs from the back. So I'll have to show you both of them. Here's the back of the Sword of the Stone one. <laughs> it just gets better. It has like all the characters, Madam Mim. That is incredible. Look at this, it's a full Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway egg. It even has like the little footprints out front and the handprints. That is an incredible replica of the Chinese theater right in Hollywood Studios. Even a little, little hidden Mickey right there. And check out the back of the Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway. It says nothing can stop us now right there. Little Mickey and Minnie on their little picnic blanket with the basket and then the fireworks going off. It's literally like you're on the ride. You knew there was gonna be a princess and the frog one. And let me explain to you how cool this actually looks. It's kind of like a little shadow box on the pond here. I love this egg. This one looks very much edible. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of them are edible in some way but this one really looks like delicious chocolate. The back of Tiana one even has a little extra Tiana on the back. And this just feels so Eastery and cute. It's like Daisy's house. She even has little like carrots planted with rabbits. The grass looks so delicious. You can tell these are like little candies on the side here, even little candy like melts on the roof. And of course, completed with Miss Daisy. This one is not really Disney related, but it is just beautiful. It's like a koi pond. You can even see some little koi fish in there. That is so stunning. I see my OG girl here. There always seems to be a Snow White egg and a Snow White lover at the Grand Floridian, which I love because she is my favorite princess, but I love that they did like the animation style on her as well. It's not just a Snow White egg, it's a Cinderella egg as well as a Sleeping Beauty egg. So it's all three princesses in one egg. These are so cute because they're like little mini eggs, little Cadbury eggs, but they're all the villains. So we have Ursula, Queen of Hearts, Lotso, and Scar. That is so cute. I love that idea, especially because they like even built like the little egg cart and that's so adorable. Every time I think I found my favorite one, <laughs> I see another one. Check out this Main Street electric light parade float complete with Elliot the dragon of course and even the little spinning guys over there that is incredible just you guys you can eat this but it has lights in it don't eat the lights but I just can't believe this is edible and can you believe that this is edible a full-on 
Princess Jasmine Castle. She even has Raja there with her at the front gates. And of course, you know it's complete with little hidden Mickey windows. That is stunning. And no, it's not your imagination. This egg is actually spinning. Let's see what the backside of it looks like here. First of all, I could already tell you that's like a full beast wrapped around the egg. Oh my gosh, and the enchanted rose in the west wing. That, this might be the winner. That is insane. Look at the detail on the beast and his jacket. That is incredible. The face detail on him. Whoa, <laughs> even the button on his pocket. And of course it spins around and who would appear but his lovely Belle. Oh my gosh, the 3D and the her reading the book. I, I just cannot. This is so beautiful. And good old Al's toy barn. That is just perfect with the chickens and Easter and spring. Like whoever thought of that, that is genius. That is really, really cute and clever and smart. And this definitely reminds me of one of those like Fabergé eggs. It has like every character ever on there. Do you guys see your favorite character? If you see your favorite character on here, leave a comment below that you saw it and which one it is. There's so many to choose from. I believe these things are called squishables. They're not really my thing, cause, but they are a fairly new like kind of toy here at Walt Disney World. So they created a whole squishable kitchen over here. That's adorable. Oh no, munchlings. Yes, Krista says, Krista is the designer of this one and she loves the munchlings, not squishables. That's, that's what they're called. And Joanne over here is a big fan of the new movie Elemental. As you can see, I'm sure you can guess what elements she decided to design her eggs after. That fire one, I mean, it's pretty fire. And this also transports you directly into this movie. I've only seen this one once onward, but I love that they have the like disappearing dad on there, but the color work is stunning. I definitely love the bigger displays. They're the ones that kind of impress me the most. I mean, like the detail on the van, wow. If you love the Emperor's New Groove just as much as me and Chef Allison do, I mean, then you'll just love this egg. I can't believe that this counts as an egg, but it definitely does because they're holding a llama potion egg. Now this one is making me very hungry. Look at that. They have the Disney Parks cup or popcorn bucket with the popcorn spilling out and all your favorite Disney snacks, the churro, pretzel, turkey leg, Mickey pop. And Katie, the artist, definitely had fun over here with her baby dragon. Have you ever seen a little baby dragon pop out of an egg? I mean, come on, they're from eggs too. And I do feel like Bambi is like the quintessential spring movie. I mean, just look at that screenshot. That just like shouts spring to me on a beautiful, beautiful classic egg. And I believe that this one is the same artist as the Beauty and the Beast one. And it definitely has the same vibe and I might have a new first place winner. Look at this Alice in Wonderland. I mean, first of all, look at the detail on Alice. Look at the detail on the flowers faces, the clock, and then the clock is even moving and working in functional time. <laughs> Complete with the white rabbit. Look at this. Wow. Okay, we gotta see the back of this one. This is blowing my mind and I feel like I can smell the chocolate coming off of it. Look at the Cheshire cat. <laughs> He's painting his own little egg. Oh my goodness, another moving clock back here. Wow, that is incredible. And if you thought it couldn't get any bigger and better of eggs, Grand Floridian is here to prove you wrong. Krista, the designer, went off on this James and the giant peach. I mean, it's a giant peach, dressed as an egg, dressed as a peach. Look at the detail on James. I wish I remembered these characters' names. I mean, I know it's the worm and the ladybug. This is like all from my childhood. The grasshopper, the spider. This is so cool. Oh, and look at the little town. So that's them, like, I think like when they're floating above, above the town. And Fabi was inspired by Moana over here. And I do think that coconuts are the perfect replacement for eggs. I mean, the shape is very similar. 
They are so cool and so aggressive as always. They're very aggressive coconut eggs. Coconut eggs sound so good right now. I am ready for our dining reservation at the cafe and to get into some of these grand cottage snacks. But there's one more egg over here we have to check out before our dining reservation. I thought we had one more egg, but it's actually an experience you can wait for um, to watch them decorate the eggs. There's no one here right now, so it says to please check back later when one of the pastry artists is here. So maybe we can check back here later and see the rest of this little, like, I'm assuming it's a Pixar egg. It looks like all the different Pixar characters on there. Yeah, we'll have to check back and see if someone's here. And you know we'll be back here dining at the cottage to get all the sweets, maybe even some egg-shaped sweets. But first, let's head to the Grand Floridian Cafe. Take a look at this grand menu. This is lunchtime, but what's great about the Grand Floridian Cafe is they even serve brunch during lunch. So you can still get steak and eggs, the grand breakfast, even some waffles, and the traditional Benedicts. That's one of my favorite things to get here, but I might try something different. We'll have to see. I just talked to Hermes, who is like the manager of the Grand Floridian Cafe. He let me know that on March 7th, which is in like two days, they are getting a brand new menu here. They're gonna have new breakfast, lunch, and dinner items, and they're bringing back their famous Cobb salad. A lot of people have been requesting it, and now I'm gonna have to come back here in a couple days to try their new menu. What the heck? But hey, that's really exciting news to know the cafe is getting a new menu, so definitely come check it out. Say hi to Hermes for me too. And you always have to start with some Grand Floridian coffee. I get mine with soy milk. I love that they bring it to you in a little cup, and I also love that they bring a whole vat of coffee. And while we're sitting here having some coffee, having a little tea time, let's talk some tea. You guys have been with me so long on this channel and I am ready to get us to 20,000 subscribers. We are so stinking close. We could literally get there by the time I'm finished drinking this coffee. If you make sure you're subscribed, if you share my stuff, if you tell your grandma, aunt, cousin, to subscribe. I've been doing YouTube now for like eight years and it has always been a dream of mine to get to 20,000. The last channel I had was this close and now I've been bringing this new channel. So definitely subscribe, like, and comment. And I know we can do it together this year, you guys, 2024. Actually, we can do it by the time I'm finished this cup of coffee. And I even think they are starting to bring new things back already. They used to always give biscuits at lunch here, but the last couple times I hadn't seen them, but they're back, baby. The biscuits are back. Mm. They're delicious, just like buttermilk biscuits. And I decided to get their traditional eggs benedict. It's two poached eggs, Canadian bacon, and hollandaise on a toasted English muffin for $17 served with marinated tomato salad. And napkin on lap because we are very fancy here at the Grand Floridian. And, and what will even be more fancy is if we can get a very, very volcano-y egg here. Oh my goodness, perfection literal perfection, ooey gooey goodness. I got a little bit of everything. Hollandaise is just so good. I want to eat it all of my days. And don't sleep on the tomato salad either, the arugula tomato salad, whatever vinaigrette they put on this actually makes me like vegetables. And I'm also just realizing for the biscuits, they give you a lemon zest butter. I could eat this whole jar, but I can't fill up on this. We gotta go get our spring snacks. And right next to Grand Floridian Cafe is 1900 Park Fair. Today, they actually released the reservations to be able to dine here. April 11th, it's opening back up. It's been down since COVID, so I can't wait to walk through these doors. You know we're gonna bring you guys along for that. I do think they gave it a new coat of paint because that's looking stunning. And these trees, they used to have like more of them lining here, kind of hiding the door. You can even see they still have a tree over here hiding like where the menu is gonna go. But 
they won't be hiding for long. Now, one of the reasons we're really excited for 1900 and Park Fair to open back up is because it is character dining and buffet. I think it used to be like very Grand Floridian type characters you would see, Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella, but we're gonna have some new favorites in here. There's gonna be Tiana, Aladdin. Um, I think there'll probably be some, some oldies as well, but we just cannot wait for this place to open back up. So definitely get your reservations now if you wanna check out this restaurant when it opens in April. So between the new menu coming here at Grand Floridian Cafe and 1900 Park opening back up, there's so much awesome things happening here at Grand Floridian. And more awesomeness is about to ensue because we are checking out the Grand Cottage. And you guys can come check out the Grand Cottage as well. It is open daily from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I believe until like the end of March. And this is all of their menu items. They have a hot cross bun, an Easter marshmallow pop, guava cream cheese, sweet roll, a dirt cup, a fruit cereal Mickey Pop, carrot blondie pop, white chocolate bunny pop, marshmallow egg, a lemon blueberry whoopie pie. Oh, that sounds amazing. A confetti pop, a cream cheese, carrot coffee cake, milk chocolate bunny, which is classic, a macaron box, a whole box of macarons, a bunny pop, flower pop, the grand egg for $20. That's definitely a grand price, as well as paint your own chocolate egg for $25. That's kind of fun and an Easter treat box for 80. And this is the paint your own egg kit, you guys. You actually get all four of these little like chocolate designs and then they have the little edible paint in there. That would be so fun for the whole fam. Take a look at these cross buns. They are keeping the buns extra warm for you in here as well as like the little guava pie down there. And then this is the grand egg you can purchase. It even has the little golden sticker on the front and it's filled with jelly beans. The classic spring snack, the chocolate Easter bunny. The cream cheese coffee cake right over here. That would really, that's already ready for you to take home, wrapped up and good to go. That's the dirt. You can see that that's like the cookies and cream with a little spring flower on top. Yeah, they have a lot of these little little take home things, even a little sheep pop that's so cute with all the little marshmallow on it. And I decided to get this cute little carrot blondie pop for $7.50, as well as that lemon blueberry whoopie pie for $8.25. We have to open up the carrot before we go in to this whoopie pie because I know that that whoopie pie is gonna whoop this carrot's butt. I believe I got this carrot last year as well. So it has just kind of become like a tradition. And I think it just looks the most like Eastery out of all the things. Mmm. Mmm. I don't remember last year it tasting so brown sugary. Like, it is very, very brown sugary, but I love this. It also kind of gives me like Tigger vibes from Winnie and the Pooh. There's just something so cute about this. And you can put it back in your little to-go plastic and save a little bit for later too. Take it home, plant it, grow more carrot cake pops, right? That, that's how it works. And even this whoopie pie was served to me cold. So we need to get into it before it warms up too much. Cause look, the little crust is already starting to come off on me, but I love the little Grand Floridian milk chocolate little medallion on the front there and anything shaped like Mickey. You guys know, ears first. Mm. Oh my goodness. For a second, I thought it was just gonna be like lemony and I forgot it was also gonna be very, very blueberry. <laughs> the blueberry and the lemon together are just literal classic combination. And it's definitely giving spring fresh and all the good things inside of here. This was definitely a win for me today. Well, I came back to check to see if there would be a pastry artist here that we could see decorate that egg. But unless they are invisible, I'm not seeing anyone. I did notice that the little paint brushes here are in jelly beans. And I have decided that my favorite egg of the whole lot is definitely this Allison in Wonderland. Just the time 
pun intended, that it took to do just the faces of these flowers. I just can only imagine. It is absolutely stunning. Well, what a fun little afternoon hanging out at the Grand Floridian. I cannot wait to come back and try the new food at Grand Floridian Cafe. Leave a comment below. Have you guys ever got to check out the adorable Grand Cottage? If so, what did you get for your little spring snack? And as always, peace, love, and positivity, and all the good things. Love you guys. Bye.